Can you color chocolate frosting? Traditionally, most people just use vanilla frosting as a base for making colored frosting since it is white. This allows you to make whatever colors you want. However, you can use chocolate frosting to make certain colors as well. Types of food coloring. When it comes to food coloring, there are several different types. The most common type is traditional liquid food coloring or liquid dye. Liquid gel dye is similar to traditional food coloring. It consists of synthetic coloring with a base of water, as well as glycerin or corn syrup. It is much more concentrated than liquid dye, and a few drops go a long way. Gel paste dye is a popular choice among professional bakers. Similar to liquid gel dye, it is made from synthetic coloring with water, glycerin, or corn syrup base. Since it is a paste, it is very thick, and there is not much room for trial and error when using it. For those not wanting to use synthetic dyes, natural food coloring is also available. They are free of any glycerin or corn syrup. The color typically comes from plants and vegetables such as saffron turmeric, carrot juice, and beets. Lastly, there is also powdered dye. It comes in jars and is a completely dry powder. It is great to use in recipes that are sensitive to liquid. Making black frosting with chocolate buttercream. Most people avoid black frosting because it has so much food coloring in it to achieve such a dark color. However, if you start out with chocolate buttercream instead of vanilla, you won't need to add nearly as much food coloring. Let the frosting sit for 20 to 30 minutes, as this allows the food coloring to become more saturated into the chocolate buttercream, producing a darker color. Making red frosting with chocolate buttercream. For a gorgeous, dark red coloring, chocolate buttercream makes a wonderful base. To make red frosting, start by adding about five drops of red food coloring to your chocolate frosting and mix. If it is still not red enough, Add a few more drops of red food coloring. You can also add some melted chocolate into the frosting to give it a darker color. Making burgundy. Start with a chocolate frosting that is dark in color and add five drops of purple food coloring at a time, stirring after each addition. You may also add a few drops of red food coloring to reach the desired shade of burgundy. Making dark purple frosting with chocolate buttercream. Dark purple is another beautiful color you can make with chocolate frosting. Start out by using a chocolate buttercream with less cocoa powder, so it has lighter color. Then, add three drops of purple food coloring at a time until you reach your desired color, stirring after each addition. You can also add a couple of drops of blue food coloring as well. This can help give the purple frosting a lovely jewel tone. If you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe.